helping the homeless. The city's new budget calls for more money to address this ongoing problem. Still ahead here on KOB4, helping our homeless. Albuquerque pumps more money into addressing this ongoing problem. You're watching KOB Eyewitness News with Tom Jones and Tessa Mentes, the team that stands for New Mexico. It's a problem that you see on street corners and medians all across Albuquerque. Panhandlers holding signs, asking passerbys for money. But it's a problem the mayor's office is hoping to throw more money and resources to address. Brittany Costello is following that story tonight and joins us in our studio now. Brittany. Hey, Tessa, many people may recognize the There's a Better Way program. It's an initiative that's gained national attention. A contracted van drives around town, putting the people you see on the street to work. Now the city hopes to expand that program in the mayor's proposed budget, but some wonder if it's a program worth all those additional resources. You can spot them on just about every corner with signs in hand. Some reading homeless and hungry, others telling a different story. Veteran, hungry and homeless with two kids. What we do is we offer $9 an hour for a day's work. That's where the city program There's a Better Way comes into play. A van goes around town five days a week, picking up panhandlers you want to work? and putting them to work. It's not one of those problems that will ever uh, go away, but if you can put a dent in it and you can change the psyche and the mindset of a majority of individuals with the uh, carrot of work and a paycheck at the end of that day. He says that's exactly what the program does. It's so effective. In the mayor's proposed budget for fiscal year 2018, he specifically mentions expanding it. So what does that mean? In 2017, $181,000 was set aside for the program. In 2018, he wants to nearly double that, bringing it to $460,000. It would fund another van and nearly double the number of people being put to work. 20 people per day, so about 100 workers a week. It sounds like a solid solution, but Jeremy Reynolds, founder of Joy Junction, wonders just how much it's really helping. This past week or two, these past few few weeks, literally we have seen more homeless people than ever. We were at capacity, almost 300 people just a few nights ago. While he doesn't deny the potential benefits, he, like many of the panhandlers we talk to, say a majority of the time, a few days work, is not enough to get someone off the streets altogether. On top of that, he wonders where the additional funds and resources would come from. So while there may be some minor progress being being made, when it comes to like a mission level, speaking in terms again of somebody that feeds the homeless, uh, that feeds the hungry and houses, you know, the homeless, we're not seeing any progress whatsoever. We're told the extra funds proposed for this initiative would mean some resources would be taken from other city mental health and homeless programs. This is just the mayor's proposed budget. The city council still needs to do some work of its own to determine if this is something that should move forward. Back to you, Tessa. Thank you, Brittany.